What is going on guys? Welcome back to Wrestling with Conversation. Now we actually got two huge topics that I want to go over with. Uh, thank you for joining me on this Wednesday on May 11th. I will be doing AEW shorts, so tune in for that. Um, I just want to get straight into it. Now, um, this is very interesting, interesting to say at least. Uh, we're going to talk about Lacey Evans possibly being a heel on Monday Night Raw. And Roman Reigns being a part-time, taking 10 weeks off. Now, I was going to do a top it on it the other day, but I wanted to see was this actually legit. And it seems like this actually might be legit. Um, First, I want to do get the Lacey Evans out the way. First of all, I don't see why was the gimmick change needed at, at first. When she was the sassy, uh, Southern, you know, type of girl, you know. And I feel like, you know, she shouldn't have never changed her gimmick at first. Because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I never can see her as a baby face. And that's just me being honest, you know. I can never see her as a baby face. With that being said, hold on. With that being said, um... Who is she going to fight on Monday Night Raw? Who is she going to start a feud with on Monday Night Raw? There's just so many things that we can't even look at. I mean, the women's division for the Raw's women's champion is already packed as it is because we actually have Oscar, we actually have Bianca Belair, we got Alyssa Bliss coming in the picture, and we also have Oscar, Bianca Belair, we got Rhea Ripley, um and possibly Bailey coming to Monday Night Raw. Now a lot of folks saying why not just have Bailey go against Ronnie Rousey on SmackDown for the SmackDown Women's Champion. Now I did look up and did see that Ronnie Rousey is keeping the SmackDown Women's Champion for a long time until they figure something out. And now why would you want to return Bailey to have her lose in her first few back? And have her lose in her first match coming back on her return. I just don't see that because I actually wanted to see. I actually pitched it for Bailey to stay heel and to be able to go to Monday Night Raw. And after a few with whoever Ben Cabela is feuding with, have Bailey come back and challenge. Uh, Bianca Belair for the Raw's Women's Champion. Now, if you actually do want to, if they actually is planning on using Bailey for Ronnie Rousey, why not just have her return at Money in the Bank and take the women's Money in the Bank briefcase and have her wait a bit? Maybe WrestleMania or maybe a later date uh, to have Ronnie Rousey drop the belt. No, there's not really a lot of folks for Ronnie Rousey to face on SmackDown anyways. Um, we got Shanna Blazer. We do not want to see these two guys fight because we already know they are actually close friends. So why not have Ronnie Rousey kind of, I won't say turn her heel, but have her be like a, a tweener where she's friends with Shanna Blazer, Shanna Blazer, and have them, you know, have a, such a couple interaction with each other. And, um, you know, have her help her or whatever. You know what I'm just saying? Um, Sasha Banks, we already seen it. I don't mind seeing it again. But you don't want Sasha Banks taking an L when she's already the women's tag team champions. I'm not a fan of the women's tag team champions on the main roster. But, you know, they making it legit. So I don't have a problem with it. And Shashi Blackheart and Aaliyah and Zion Lee. Those are not legitimate people that can actually take down Rowney Rousey. I think Lacey Evans would have been. I'm not saying Lacey Evans can beat Rowney Rousey, but she would have been a solid feud for uh, Rowney Rousey. Lacey Evans is actually one of my favorites. I still believe to this day that her and Constable Corbin should have won the Universal Champion and the Raw's Women's uh, Champion. Uh, I believe it was Roadblock or Extreme Rules when they had Winners Take All in a mixed tag team match. Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, they feud, they title reign wasn't actually, um, it wasn't actually, you know, it was, it ran its course or whatever. Now, 
I don't know what they're going to do with Lacey Evans on Monday Night Raw because the Raw's Women's Division is already stacked. I prefer her on SmackDown because I assume that they don't have nobody on SmackDown on the Women's Division because it's so thin. I assume they would try to have her turn heel and then attack Rowdy Rousey, maybe say, oh, uh, do a little baby face Sammy and then turn on Rousey Rousey or whatever. But that is actually not the case. Now, like I said, if Bailey goes to SmackDown, have her win the Money in a Bank Women's Briefcase. And for Lacey Evans, I don't know what they're going to do for her on Monday Night Raw. I really don't. It's already stacked as it is. Rhea Ripley, Alessa Bliss, Bianca Belair, Oscar, um, and yeah, Becky Lynch. They already got a couple women fighting over the women's champion, so Lisa, uh, Lacey Evans won't fit there. She's just going to be lost in the shovel, just like uh, Nikki A.S.H. and Dewdrop. And whoever is not getting TV time on Raw. Um, but that is all I have to say about that topic. Hopefully they do something with Lacey Evans. Like I said, that gimme chain wasn't needed at all. It wasn't. Just my personal opinion, it wasn't needed at all. Um, let's get to the main topic. The topic everybody is talking about. Roman Reigns legit being a part-timer. Is he legit taking 10 weeks off? Well... Let's go over it now. Before I actually do go over it, this is why you should build new superstars instead of just focusing on one guy. Now I'm looking at my tablet down here as I'm looking at the results and why uh, you know news on Roman Reigns. Um, I just feel like you know Roman Reigns wanted to take a break. Because maybe he got tired of carrying the companies on his back. He probably got tired of, you know, doing all the work. Now, I know there's other folks on Raw Brand and whatever. But, you know, legit WWE focus point is literally Roman Reigns at the point. Now, Cody Rhodes just came in. So, I won't say it, I don't want to be about Roman Reigns. Before Cody Rhodes came in. Legit, it was Roman Reigns this, Roman Reigns that, Roman Reigns there. You know, it was always about Roman Reigns. Now, it's funny how it's funny how when it first started, John Cena called out The Rock for going to Hollywood, right? I know you guys remember that. And look at Cena. Where is John Cena at in Hollywood, right? And now Roman Reigns called out Brock Lesnar. He called out John Cena for going to Hollywood. Now look what Roman Reigns trying to do. Now I'm not saying Roman Reigns is taking a break to do some movies. I actually don't know. It's probably could just be a break because he's tired of carrying the company on his back. Now <laughs> I actually found that funny because that's so hypocrite. That is so hypocritical. It's funny. Um. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to read this uh, report that everybody's talking about. Okay, Roman Reigns is set to take time off from WWE this summer, days after Roman Reigns' promo from that live event Saturday. Um, he talks about his going into his next phase, and I thought maybe everybody was over-exaggerating or whatever, but it seems like that might not be the case. Um, it looks like, um, he will be pulled from all WWE television shows and all live events and pay-per-views. He signed a new deal with less scheduled dates and, you know, house shows, you know, he doing less work, taking more time off. PW Insiders reported that Reigns is not advertised for any TV events or house shows in July and August. This apparently likely starts after June 24th edition of SmackDown all the way to Labor Day. I mean, you guys, listen, you're talking about 10 weeks. 10 weeks without the WWE Universal Undisputed Champion. Now, I know that gives the opportunity for the Intercontinental Champion and the United States Champion and the Raw, SmackDown, and uh, Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion to take over that main event scene. But you should have already been doing that before the main primary champion taking a break. You know what I'm saying? It should have already been in the main event scene or, you know, be more prestigious with the championships. 
I just don't believe it. Oh, but Roman Reigns is advertised for money in the bank in SummerSlam. But WWE could pull him due to match card subject to change. Now, they did do this with Brock Lesnar as well. If you haven't noticed, Brock Lesnar was advertised for WrestleMania Backlash. He was advertised for WrestleMania Backlash, and they pulled him. He was nowhere to be found. Now, I think they did that just to sell tickets. But I'm not going to complain about it because everybody should know by now that WWE gets away with clickbaiting, gets away with false advertising, and people will still go to the show. Um, WWE has take back the uh, title hunches. Now, if, can we be looking at another situation where... We complained about Brock Lesnar taking the WWE Championship for months, holding it hostage and holding it hostage, and you know, sitting at the house not caring. But like I do, Brock Lesnar things I do what Brock Lesnar wants to do, right? And it's actually kind of funny because we could be looking at a possibility scenario with Roman Reigns most likely, most likely doing the same thing he complained about Brock Lesnar doing. Now, we all thought maybe Roman Reigns could be the best universal champion because he's a fighting champion. He's not holding the title's haunches. He's defending the championship. Every now and then, he's defending it while Brock Lesnar is sitting down at the house. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of Brock Lesnar, but please, make the championship prestigious. Please. Now, if this is the case, if this legitimate, true, then I would just have Roman Reigns drop both championships. Now, who do I think he should drop it to? If I'm being honest, I might well just go ahead and let him drop the championship to Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. He can drop it to Roman Reigns. He can drop it to Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam and then have Drew... Uh, carry on with his championship reign. And look, I actually heard heard this somewhere. Drew McIntyre versus Gunter for the Universal Champion at Class of the Council. I think it's called, yeah, Class of the Council at United Kingdom, at the UK. Drew McIntyre versus Gunter slash Walter versus the Universal Champion at Class of the Council at the UK. Don't tell me that you guys don't want to see it. That is a banger match waiting to happen. It's a banger match waiting to happen. Man, I'm excited for that. Now, for the WWE Champion side of things, I don't know how, but everybody's talking about Cody Rhodes winning the money in the bank. Now, I thought he maybe want to face Roman Reigns a one-on-one -on -one match without the money in the bank, but they advertising Cody Rhodes he has the money in the bank. You know, he's hyping up money in the bank or in the commercials or whatever. So I thought, okay, maybe just have Cody Rhodes win the money in the bank. I don't see anybody else that possibly could win it. I did have Cesaro, but he's not there no more. I did have Kevin Owens, but I feel like he doesn't need the money in the bank, to be honest. He knows how to put himself over just by speaking on the microphone. Cody Rhodes winning the money in the bank. Now... Do he cash it in on the same night as uh, Roman Reigns uh, when he uh, beat Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam? Well, when Drew McIntyre beats Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, or do they have Drew Mc do they have Cody Rhodes beat J Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank? Because Roman Reigns could have a match at Money in the Bank, or um, he could just wait to SummerSlam. It's so rushed because Cody Rose winning the money in the bank would be rushed because you either have him win the money in the bank and cash it in on Drew, I mean, cash it in on Roman for the other championship the day that Roman Reigns got beat by Drew, or you have him hold it for some time and, um, have him beat Roman Reigns at, uh, SummerSlam when Drew beats him. Or you could just have him hold the money in the bank briefcase into WrestleMania, maybe. Or later on during that date when somebody else is the WWE champion and he challenged them. But I think it would help Roman it would help Cody Rhodes 
excuse me, it would help Cody Rhodes if he beats Roman Reigns. But you don't want him to be a weaken Roman Reigns as well. You would have Roman Reigns complain about losing the Universal Championship and then have Cody Rhodes come out there with the money bank just to piss him off some more and then they fight a one-on-one -on -one match right now. It could be on a SmackDown or a Raw, but you want him to win the championship on a big stage. Now, they consider him Money in Bank as one of the big four or the biggest pay-per-views or premium live events, however they want to call it. I just feel like, you know, this is going to be kind of rushed for Cody Rhodes, but at the same time, hey, he's WWE champion. But he wanted to be a fighting champ. He wanted to win it the right way. He didn't want to win it on a weakened Roman Reigns or a weakened opponent. Now, I just don't know. I mean, that's just not his character to me because he always talked about how his dad was champion and how he wanted to carry on that legacy. And I feel like this is going to be an interesting uh, situation. WWE has put themselves in a, into a corner and it just, it just not... It's not going to work well for WWE. <laughs> um, they could do a tournament. Roman Reigns could vacant the WWE champion and have Cody Rhodes wins that tournament. Or he could just wait until the tournament's over and then cash them on them baby, or cash it in on them face to face. I would just prefer Cody Rhodes to cash it in on Roman Reigns the baby face way. You know, the baby face way. Um, those are basically my two topics. Lacey Evans being possibly a heel on Raw and Roman Reigns legit being a part-timer taking 10 weeks off. Like, what are we going to do without 10 weeks? What are we going to do without 10 weeks for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion? This is all interesting right here. Um... I gotta say, that is basically it because I'm looking on my tablet and I don't see any other news um, except the Roman Reigns news that I just read to you guys. It's just very interesting because we don't know if this could legitimately be the case. But if it is, like I said, you might as well have Roman Reigns lose those belts before he takes time off. It's just my opinion because, listen, I know... It's going to make WWE build up Roman Reigns for no reason. They built him up. They built him up to be this tribal chief, the head of the table, this guy mode situation or whatever, you know. And I know people saying, if we lose the championship, how is he going to face The Rock at WrestleMania? Listen, guys. Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania Hollywood does not need the championships. If do not need the championships to have a match, they already got the storyline. They already got the history background. Just use that and it will make that rivalry, make that WrestleMania Hollywood match be interesting. That's all you need right there. And you will have The Rock versus the, uh, Roman Reigns, the head of the table, at Hollywood WrestleMania. This is just very bizarre. I mean, I didn't think Roman Reigns would be the one to talk about others going to Hollywood, and he's the, doing the same thing. He could possibly, could just be taking a break, or he could be going to a movie, taking some movie dates on, uh, you know, off from WWE. Now... I'm excited for Drew McIntyre versus Gunter at the class of K of the class of the Council UK. If that is the case, um, Cody Rhodes being WWE champion, we all want that. We all want that. Um, it's just very uh, interesting storyline to uh, to say. It's just an interesting news to say the least. I don't usually talk about this because I usually wait to Sunday. But I feel like I didn't want to wait any longer to talk about this. I just had to talk about this. But yeah, this is Wrestling with Conversation episode, I believe, three. It's episode three, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Episode three or episode four. But if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Um, hit the like button first. And comment, what do you think about this whole Roman Reigns situation? What do you think about Lacey Evans possibly being a heel on Monday Night Raw? What do you think about 
Just let me know what do you think about these news, these two topics I just went over. And if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see me do more videos like this, please, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for post notification. And until next time, thank you for tuning in Wrestling With Conversation Episode 3. I will see you guys in the next video. I will be uploading shorts for AEW Dynamite Wednesday tonight. So don't forget to tune in for that. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.